What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to be sniping through the Hero's Pass at Overpower Level 8. I'm doing this video because I got quite a few requests for some sniping mobs gameplay. I chose this map because it has a good mix of human enemies as well as robot enemies such as loaders and constructors. I'll be using three different sniper rifles throughout this video, the Snyder that I just poked that uh, power loader there with. I'll be using a Shock Lyuta for most of the human enemies. This is because it is effective against shields and it will deal neutral damage whether the human enemy has armor or flesh type defense. So it will give me a pretty solid base damage against the human type enemies. Obviously my Pimpernel and Snyder, the other two sniper rifles I'll be using, will be corrosive since they will be used primarily to take out loaders and constructors. Alright, this area is kind of a pinch point in the map. There's a lot of rocket loaders and gun loaders and exploders as well as Hyperion snipers and little, you know, go invisible soldiers that spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and get through this area. I wanted to pop some criticals there so my stacks didn't deplete too bad. I thought about jumping across there but I wanted to go ahead and kill these guys first. I was using the wrong sniper rifle there, so I switched to the Lyuta so we can go ahead and take these guys out easier. I miss on this dude a little bit, but that's alright because I do hit him after wasting some ammo. When sniping you have to be a little bit cautious of your ammo, but the game will wait sniper rifle drops if you're using four sniper rifles because you won't be depleting any of your other ammo stashes. Alright, we're going to be moving ahead now. One of the reasons I also wanted to do this video is to showcase that you don't necessarily need a B-Hawk, Shamfleet, or Grog Nozzle for Overpower Level 8. There are still other viable options that are available to you. Alright, so we're going to be moving ahead. If you like to play with those combinations, by all means, do whatever you have fun with. I'm just showing that it's not the only options available for you. Which some people, there's a misconception out there that some people think that is the case. Those Hyperion Predators, you have to take them out pretty quick because they have rocket launchers. If they spawn with an E-Tech launcher, they are extra dangerous, especially a Vladoff E-Tech launcher. If they spawn with Topnias, that can get pretty hairy. Alright, these Sergeant Loaders are pretty tough because their shoulders are not critical spots and neither are their hips, unlike most loaders. This makes them quite a bit more difficult to take out with a sniper build which kind of relies on critical hits. However, the Pimpernel will still enable us to take some of these enemies out pretty easily. Follow through has given me a run speed bonus here, and those enemies spawned behind me, and, you know, I didn't really want to wait for them, so we're going to go ahead and go forward. Not really tripping on what's behind me. <laughs> Only a fool trips on what's behind them, Brian. And now we're going to go ahead and kill these guys. I think that was a Hyperion Predator up there, so it was go good to go ahead and take him out before he could get his rocket launcher ready and positioned at us. Now this area has a few um, war loaders that spawn and then a super badass loader so they can actually be pretty pretty tough. I guess it's an ultimate badass loader, right? Yeah. So if you get all three of those guys firing on you at once, you under some heavy fire and it's a pretty dangerous situation. I am using a level 67 Disturbed Stalker Calm as well as an OP8 White Inflammable Turtle Shield. This combination gives me only 283 maximum health, but still gives me 4 digit health regeneration, which is really nice. I'll be able to show you guys this uh, gear at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe to me, I'd very much appreciate that. Now in this area, you have to work through it kind of quickly, otherwise the Ultimate Badass Constructor 3.0 will get down here before you're down here, and he only spams rockets in this area. This area will also have various Digistruck stations that will spawn other Sergeant, Power, Bull, and Gun Loaders, I believe, even Ion Loaders at times, in this area, and it can make it fairly difficult for you. The Super Badass Constructor will spit out a few uh, Surveyors as well if you don't kill him quick enough, but the Pippermail enables you to kill him pretty easily. He's pretty easy to find the sweet spot on, and that's pretty cool. So I made it through the whole area, and killed almost all the enemies except for those two I ran by because they didn't spawn fast enough. Nice. And I was able to get an orange weapon from the chest at the end, that's pretty rare. I guess the game thought I did a good job and it wanted to re reward me a little bit. 
Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll be sure to go over my skill build and gear right quick for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this gun. I'm not a big fan of the striker, but definitely pick up the legendaries. It's cool to find them. They are quite rare. So, take a look at the striker there. It has a Tor grip as opposed to the Jacob's grip, so it could have been a little bit better. But, you know, still pretty good gun. I also had uh, this Pimpernel, obviously, which is a better gun. Probably the best sniper rifle in the game. But I also used this Snyder, as well as the Lyuda. Again, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. Otherwise, thank you guys very much for watching. Please keep in mind that I have uploaded the save file I used for this video uh, in my past uploads. So be sure to check that out as well. Bye, guys.